But um, I found out that there is so there's some DLC in this game for Saz, one of the main characters for Final Fantasy 13. 2016 is my last save here. Um, um, for Saz here, and um, so here's the spoilers. I don't think I can spoil or skip this, but um. Oh, maybe I skipped it. I skipped it. There we go. Um, but yeah, he had like a gambling story DLC that I skipped because I assumed at the time I looked at it and was like, gambling, that's stupid. And then never bothered with it. So um, nowadays, though, that actually sounds interesting. So It was a place that ancient minstrels sang of in joyous ballads. It was a palace that knew neither day nor night, an endless now of joy and amusement. It was said that only souls who had perished in an unfortunate manner were granted entrance to its halls to be allowed a brief flash of happiness to change before my fading here real quick. into their final rest. But there are always exceptions to the rule. In a moment of cosmic whim, a certain misfortunate father stumbled through Serendipity's doors, still very much alive. Yeah, something about like saving his kid or something. Which I think was part of the story in 13. I don't remember how that resolved itself in 13. I think he just found his kit, though. So. Pardon, pardon the loading. This is a really good game, though. If you haven't played 13 too, I recommend it. It's unfortunate that I think I, I'm not a big fan of 13. I think 13 is fine. I don't, I don't dislike it, but I think there's other people that maybe dislike it a bit too much. There it goes. Okay. Very long loading. <laughs> um, but I think 13 is a great video game, so. I have no idea how this gambling thing is going to be, though. I imagine very budget, so. This is very early Square Enix messing around with the idea of DLC for Final Fantasy games, so. I'm sure I'll get so much out of the story not really remembering any of this. Stand still. <laughs> All because of what happened that day. He, he does like show up at the end of the video game at some point, and I don't think they work. explain Routine flight, same old plane, same how old he ends up at the end of the game not a cloud of sight. Perfect weather. in the main story. Mm. He just kind of shows up. <sighs> Despite it being like many, many, many years in the future, so. Time to wake up, little man. What about the land? Daddy? Hmm? Something's coming. Yeah? I still think these are like great hey, looking there. games for PS3 games. What's going on? Huh? Where the heck am I? Am I, am I alive? Is this what heaven looks like? You are no longer alive. What? However, that does not mean you are dead. For example, take a look at the coin. In this brief moment before it lands on the floor, there are two possible outcomes, heads or tails. Got like a foxtail going on that or something? Is the situation you are in. There are two possibilities for your future. Life or death. 
What about my son? What about Dodge? Is he okay? Where is he? Hmm. It is quite possible he is here. But at the same time, it is also possible that he is not. <sighs> okay. So then which is it? That depends on you and your actions. I can figure out his glasses you must are like off of his face or if it's like a part of his face. Manifest, whatever they may be. Your future lies. Okay, they're they're on top of his face, sorry. If you wish to see your son, you must win the possibility of a reunion. Leave hard enough, I'll be able to see you again. We'll say the hands right. look a little rough. <sighs> More reading. <laughs> right. Hmm? Whoa, what? <laughs> a chocobo. Hey, hey, I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah, don't take this the wrong way. I'm glad to see you doing well, but I really wish you would dodge instead. Stop, stop that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I take it back. I'm, I'm happy to see you. Really? Ow! Hey, watch the throw. Watch the throw. All right, all right. Come on, let's go and find Dodge. You with me? I don't know how or why, but found myself gambling and went back the most important thing in my life. You know, I don't I'm know... It's a man, but Lady Luck has never glanced my way. I don't know if baby chocobos have ever been shown flying this before. this time it'll be different. It has to be. Maybe this time she'll show me some love. Dodge, I'll see you soon. I promise. Pretty long opening cutscene. I wasn't expecting that much. I, I am kind of hoping this is fairly story intense, though. But I get the feeling that we're going to get kind of the opening cutscene and ending cutscene, and that's about it. So. Interesting shape tables. To mention. What? Where'd you come from? If there is anything you should need, please, do not hesitate to ask. As the owner of this establishment, our full resources are at your disposal. That's mighty kind of you. Well, since you're offering, I do have a few questions. It's a very quick <laughs> touch to his head. Here in this palace, a place untouched by the flow of time, gamblers risk their pride in casino coins and a feathered rush to amass fortune. Oh, he bumped into me. Uh, try your luck at these games and build your stack of coins. Poker, Chrono Bind, and Slot Machines. To be reunited with Dash, Saz will need to amass a number of the possibility warping items known as Fortune Medals. As no medals can be earned at the slot machines, the fastest way to collect them is at card tables. Gather as many Fortune Medals as you can to ensure a future where Saz and Dash can meet again. First things first, speak to the casino and receive casino coins needed to play at the card tables. Buddy, you're gonna bump into me again? Alright. <laughs> it's a good day. In need of a few coins, please accept these with compliments. For free? I'm guessing I'll pay for it later, somehow. There is always a price. Please do not hesitate to ask for assistance. I do like the little, uh... Kiosks there. Uh, ask the casino if you ever run out of coins. Be careful. There's a limit to how many times he will help you out. Be clever with your coins and try your best to amass a fortune on your own. Sometimes I want to see what it's like to lose. I can actually click on these things. Oh, that's talking to him. Is what it is. Okay. I'm afraid. Is there a way to like go into first person in 13? Can't remember. I don't think so. That is definitely not readable text, though, so. 
All right, I want to kind of curious see what we got. Okay, that's not even a staircase. Okay, I thought it was a staircase up. I need to stick it out. Unlucky for me. Are these the slot machines? Okay, I think these are slot machines. Kind of excessive slot machines, but. I always forget how like loose the PS3 analog six feel. The machines have good days and bad days. How well you do depends on their mood. Talk to me if you want to know the condition of any of the machines we have here. <laughs> it's like a hot summer's day. Uh, good. <laughs> we know. Well, we can't win stuff with slots, so we might as well try them first, I guess. Do the tutorial. Oh okay, yeah, press one of the R1 to enter. Lever down the pool. There are three buttons in front of each reel. Press each button from left to right to stop the reel. The buttons can be pressed in any order depending during regular gameplay. Alright. I did not land anything. Try again. So how many coins am I spending? Is it just five? Three times the original bet. I don't know how to put in more coins. Wait, how did I get a jackpot? To be able to get a row of whatever that is and a whatever that is. Try again. Let's go. Let's try again. Or am I still in tutorial mode here? So they're just letting me do whatever. And that's times 50. Okay. All right. Victory mode. <laughs> Once you get in a row of things, it means you enter victory mode. Oh, I didn't read that. Something about only betting 10 points. The text just went away really quick. Jackpot. Side ones lit up, the ones flag can triggered, aim for the jackpot to stop the reel, get a row. I always enjoy, like, music being repurposed for slot machines and stuff. Oh, 13 battle music. Super victory mode. All right. During the during victory mode, get, uh, super victory mode. by betting 100 C coins, your odds of getting increased by 10. Okay. During super victory mode, a rogue Moogle has a 15% chance of ending this mode. So now, now for real, I'm playing, I think, right? Or no, it said, press something to quit the, um, what did it say? I think it said something, press something to quit the tutorial. So I think I might still be in the tutorial for a moment. There we go, okay. So now can I play it for real, for real? I should only have like 10,000 coins, I think, right? Okay, maybe just go into normal mode. I still don't know how to like, um, put multiple coins in. It seems like it only does five. Hold the button? No. I'm losing, but I won, so I really won, even though I'm down, right? That's how this works. Doesn't matter how much money you lose as long as you win.
I just wish I knew how to like increase level or maybe it only increases when you do jackpots. Is that how this works? Oh man, look at the turn counters at the top of the screen. <laughs> they really want you sitting here for a while, don't they? <laughs> I just want one jackpot just so we can try victory mode again. Then we can move on to a table. Also, this is like one of those things where like it's going fast enough where like Okay, Moogles are bad no matter what. Um going so fast that like there's no real timing element here, I'm a little sorry. I could be wrong, but Although I think that's true for slot machines in general. It's is luck for a reason. <laughs> I think they're actually like laws of like it necessarily not letting you beat a skill based thing at times. So. Right, I just want one, one jackpot, baby. I just want to go to victory mode. Okay, so one of those on their own gives you like a bet of that gives you two times your bet. I don't know what the green, like the blue flash was there. Oh, the Moogles just give you back your bet is what it is. Okay, so I thought I lost money last time, but no. I a lot of chocobos, and I don't really want chocobos. I'm about to give up on uh, the slots for now. What's going on in the bottom row there? What's going on in the middle row there? I feel like I feel like this was not explained very well. <laughs> All right, I think it's enough slot machine for now. Go to a table where we can actually save our son. It's a different NPC? Yeah. Are you looking to try out the new card games? Just make your way to the tables. Um is this going anywhere? Or is this how you go back to the crux or whatever? You don't know this game has time traveling, and so the main menu is like um a timeline as you saw at the start. Okay, so this is like an actual larger casino. I feel like this is maybe Welcome in the main game the at one point. The casino's amusements. Check out the building with the slot machine sign. I like that I'm like looping around. Okay. So I think this might just take you out into the normal casino area that's uh, not a part of the DLC. that it's wait is that just oh okay i thought this wall was just like it didn't have any like like just because how it's shaped it almost looks like it doesn't ha it looks like there's like a wall there but it's like not rendered on one side i guess is what i'm trying to say but no it's just a metal thing uh -huh. all right what is this chrono bind In the game Chrono Bind, players aim to collect coins stacked by playing the highest card and earning the right to move the clock hand. Got to turn the table. I'm guessing this is not a real gambling game. Begin with each player creates four stacks of coins. These stacks are added to as the game progresses. It represents the amount you stand to win or lose. Sass's face looks like weirdly stretched down there. A single card is now drawn to determine the clock's hand starting position. Press X to draw the card. I think that's a two? Okay. It's like the card from the five you have been dealt. The person who plays the highest card then moves the clock's hand. The number plays is equal to the card's value. The strength of the card's value card is generally equal to its face value, with the following exceptions. 
Any card that beats a king if its value matches the clock hand's current position. The strength of a card is generally equal to its face value, with the exception of any card that beats a king if its value matches the clock hand's current position. I don't know what that means. Note, however, that playing an ace becomes the highest card when played against a clock hand position card. Oh my god. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know what my goal is either here. Um, wait, press X and then press once more to play it. Oh, try playing the eight. It's telling me to play cards. So you can, I think you can combine cards too. Since your card is the highest, you have earned the right to move the clock hand. You can now move the hand eight spaces in either direction. And Saz is con demon mode in the corner there. <laughs> Used to decide the direction of the hand. This time try moving it clockwise to the right. Once the hand has been moved, each player creates a bind point by placing a coin at the clock number matching the card they played. Stopping the hand on the bind point wins the game. I might just have to see how this goes because like, I feel like I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I, I didn't see a bind point. Is, okay, you can play multiple cards of the same value. What will it be? Try playing both tens and take a shot at a bind point. Is a bind point where the coins are? Is that what that is? Showdown. Just like that one. One one of your opponents has played a queen, but since you've played a clock hand position card, you win the contest. Oh, because it's, it's 10 on the board. I see. So I think if I go right, I get the two coins. Is what it is, maybe. When a clock passes 13 during round, the clock is charged. A charge forces all players to bet a set number of points. Since you're charged the clock using two cards, each player now must add twice the standard rate. Say, this is a complicated game. <laughs> when you land... Land on the buying point, you have an option to clock out. Click yes to continue. Awesome. Double buying. Because there's two points there? You clock out and win the game. The payout amounts to the right of the screen. Amounts to the right of the screen tell you how much you stand to earn. So I think double we get 95. Okay, yeah, and then double buying 95. I'm not really sure I understand what's happening here, but. I kind of appreciate that they made their own. We'll give it a shot. Ooh, a thousand. That's Come actually pretty side. pricey. Our, our life points are up on screen now. Okay, so we have three. That's going to start there. What if I... Um... Forget what the king and the ace do already. Oh, I have a mask on now, too. What is happening? <laughs> like, I don't know what the benefits are to moving at any particular spot, really, is. So, at the very least, I can, like, double what we're doing here. King seems to put us right back to where we were. Nine. Backward or forward. Ace seems to be right around us. Oh, I double nine on accident. Oh, Still anyone's game. Okay, so doing a double nine, or did he have double joker? Okay, so charged. There we go. And we're on five right now. I could go for the two. Swooped in, bitch. Okay. I don't know what is considered a higher card or lower card. This will be a fortune in no time. Low and steady. Two is glowing because we're on two. What did that do? I 
I think I'll have a low card, right? So I won't be able to win. No way. So it's eight like lower than double buy. Okay, so we're gonna lose. Yeah. I see. So we can, we can get out of the day too. All right, we're on fire. Boy. I wish I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I'm not particularly good at gambling games, I will say. All right. So I assume queen, uh, unless someone does a king, that would be the highest, right? So for now, I think we can just do a nine. You took priority over nine. Is it because we are on the two? Now we're on the thirteen. I'm gonna play the king. It's glowing, so hopefully we're not done yet. My card. I mean, it's just gonna wrap right back around to where it was. So I don't know what my other cards were. I wish I could have saw as three. The four down there. Wait a minute. I don't think I can land on that this turn. Oh boy. Ace would be so it's like an ace of one. Is that what that is? I'll toss out a seven. I want to try to see if we can get to the uh, although. Oh, another king. We're going to wrap back around again. Do I get new cards every time? I guess that's the other question. No, I think I just get one new card. Oh, single bind. Okay, because, yeah, he really landed on it. I probably should just go for the bind if I can. We got a double king, so we can wrap back around to the two. Hmm. I'll, uh, I think I'll forfeit this first turn with a low card. I'm not letting you win anything. Is this enough? I guess, I guess. Okay, we got a two down there. I could do it with a four. I agree with the benefit of using two cards. Is... Not done yet. This good? Come on. Nine. Okay, I can get to the, the double bind with nine. Oh, it charges on a tie as well? Okay. Ten, I can get a single bind. Eight to double. I don't understand the like. Well, I guess two takes priority because we're already on two, right? Yeah, I, I feel like I have a hard time understanding what cards take priority over what, but I'm losing. Okay, I'm winning by. I'm in third place by one point. <laughs> I have a nine. I'm assuming you're gonna lose the two, though, is the thing. I don't know if I have a better move than this, though. Mm, I could hit hit a ten. Try that. Ah, there's a king. Is this enough? At least make this fun. Yeah, we got a double bind. Two, though. 
I guess 11 would be a jack, right? I can single bind with the 10. I haven't tried to see if I can pair two cards together that are different numbers, though. Let's see some coin tower. Hmm. Do I need to try this turn one bind? I'll try a double bind with ten. I don't have a six, so. Oh, dang it. Is that a bind? It chose not to clock out. Okay. There we go. Should we end this game now? 13, that's going to be a uh, king is priority. I think I'm going to try to double bind again. Looks like I win. Okay. I just need something. Got something been losing this whole game so far. So I don't really know how you get fortune points still. Jack. Ooh. Is that the... Oh, that's a jack. I don't have a jack. I have double aces. Two cards did. I'm already thinking about the next one. Charge. Okay, then. I'm gonna bind at least. Is this enough? I'm feeling lucky. Oh, dang it. I just sent out the five. Who's in, dude? Charge. I'm gonna take the bind. I am being electrocuted right now. Keep my coins safe till I get them. Hope I read this right. Four bind on a seven. I think I'm gonna choose not to clock, not to clock out this turn. There we go. And then I think we're going to. I think we're gonna do a queen. And hopefully that's good enough for us. Hey, don't steal mine. Okay, what does that do for us? It clock recharged. I don't think I have a way to recover though. Toss out a nine. I still haven't tried combining cards yet to see what that will do for us. I get the feeling that we're pretty... Okay, so if I choose a different card that I can't double... Yeah, it's it's, it's Final Fantasy music, so... <laughs> I, I let, I'm digging the character portrait, like, changing different faces in the corner, though. Um, I'm not confident about any of the moves we have here. Nine at least gives me a chance that I might outplay everybody. I think I'm just going to go for a nine. I don't think if I do a six that I'm going to win. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to win with the nine. So. Okay, he double-binded. Alright, last one on this and we'll go check out the other card chambers. 
I do like this game quite a bit, though. I think the idea is interesting. And it fits into, like, the theme of the game in, like, a fun way, so... Alright. Um... I don't know if there's anything I really care to do this first turn, so... Let's throw off three for now. So bad. I think he's gonna loop us. Yeah. I kinda wish he got a new hand every turn, but... He got a double eight. I don't think anyone's gonna clock out this turn, so... Safe this time. Jack. This is the first time I've forgotten a jack. Um, ooh, we might be able to do a three bind this turn. And I think there's a chance we might be able to charge it too. You just need to use your hand. Dang it. We're on the six. Okay, charge it at least. I don't have a key. I feel like we keep ending up on the 13th. <laughs> Alright, well, we lost 200 coins, but... I like the idea. Oh, okay. Got one for just playing. I forget how many Chrono Metals do I need again? Let me go talk to him real quick. How may I help you? You can't but keep playing and believe. Those who bet nothing will gain nothing in the end. How may I help you? I guess you appear to have... Perhaps you might increase your funds by attempting. How may I help you? Of course. Your records are all here, I believe. Okay. Trying to buy six games, one win. Right. How may I help you? Please do not hesitate to ask for assistance. All right. Why didn't you double down? So this is the other game. Only okay. the goddess knows my feet. Be prepared for anything. At some point, I'll play the lightning returns. I'd like to sooner rather than later, honestly, given how behind I am on all fantasy games. I don't, and I'll be honest with you, I don't remember how poker works most of the time. I'm sure once I start reading the rules, I better, I'll better understand it, but. Strongest hand, commonest current determines the winner. The cards dealt to each hand cannot be exchanged, so the key to the victory lies in knowing what to bet, when to bet, when to fold. Oh, is this the 21 game? Oh god, maybe I should just read this whole thing. Once the game begins, and each card, each player's card dealt two cards, also known as pocket cards. No open cards are dealt for the first round or bet of betting, known as pre-flop. Players must decide their chances of winning based solely on the two cards they have been dealt. For the next two rounds of betting, three open cards are dealt on the board to flop. This is followed by two more rounds where a fourth and fifth open card are added to the board. I think the way these things are explained, I think, is maybe a little wordy. But I think I already know how this works. Call, put down all coins to match the current highest bet. Check, choose to not make an initial bet and see how the other player acts. So check is like a pass. And then bet, make a standard bet. Raise, increase the amount of highest bet. Fold, abandon the hand and lose all coins. Coins bet until that point. Or all in, bet the coins remaining in your buy in Fold early and only play hands you are sure you are winning feeling for the game that it's time to start bluffing with bad cards and scaring your opponents into folding. Can you bluff against the AI? One pair, two cards of the same number, two pairs, two cards of different number, three of a kind, three cards of the same number, straight, five consecutive numbers, flush, five of the same suit, which I think is like all hearts, right? Or like all spades and like that. Full house, one pair, Plus the three of a kind. I might have to pull up a thing for poker because I won't remember these off the top of my head. Four cards of the same kind. Yeah, what are these called again? Oh my god, there's so many. Okay. I know it's like poker is like a normal thing for most people, but poker hands. 
Like my my greatest exposure to gambling games like PCFX, you know, Tokimeki or to Tokimeki Park, Park Paradise, I think is what it's called. Um, right. I pulled something up, but I just want an explanation, honestly. Okay, here we go. Going to unibet.com for our poker needs right now. Let's get into it. Only a thousand, please. I'm too poor. Let's get started. I wonder what the BBD means. I'll call. It's all up to you now. Player's turn. No love this round. Party for okay. Make match the current bet requires five coins. Raise. Raise, increases your current bet by 15 or more coins. I have a king and a five, which I don't think does anything for me right now. We'll do a call. Okay, call. Who's going to win this hand? So, is, is, am I playing cards in my hand that are the ones on the, like, like I'm combining them with the ones on the table, essentially? So, like, everybody is doing that? So, it's like a three, six, six, five, and a king. I think I should fold, right? I don't think I have any combinations that would go with that, right? Uh, let me see. They're diamonds, diamonds. Clovers? Okay, I do have climate diamond closures. Can I do a pair of diamonds and clovers? There's how many diamonds are there? There's three diamonds, two clovers. I don't think I have anything with this. I'm gonna fold. Wishful thinking won't help me here. Watch it at high speed. Do I intimidate you? Time to make a comeback. I don't. I. I think. I think the answer is I don't know how to play poker, and maybe I should have read that more thoroughly. I thought I was getting the 21 thing. I think that might be Who's blackjack. Next? Maybe. I don't even know. Okay. So we have a two and a. Um, Jack. I'll call, I'll call, but I don't. Now it's your move. I don't know how to identify like a Give good a hand. I'll wait. Who's going to win this hand? Double eight. What does everyone else have? Jack. This is nothing unusual. I kind of the same thing as last time, honestly. How do I play this? Okay. I'll just do a call again to see if I can. If you want me to fold. figure out if there's nice. somewhere later on That's that I can sal move. salvage something like this. Are you in? I don't know what to do. Six. Check. Please, go ahead. I mean, I just don't Should think. Should be easy to match, right? I just don't see myself Even getting this one this. chance. Choosing not to play is also a way to play. Can I see what the winning hand is? One pair. Oh, because the king, eight, nine, Q? Is that how that works? What's the one pair? Wait, this doesn't even have one bear on it. Uh, it has a two pair. Or, oh, did, or maybe it's the one on the right. Who won? Okay, there's two kings. Okay, that, I think that's the one pair. Oh, and an ace. So is that a two pair? Two sets of cards of the same kind. 
two kings, two queens. This is what this example shows. So they have two. So yeah. So I think Alicia had a had a two pair, right? I can't gamble. Man. I don't know how to poker. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Alicia won. Okay. So I think I understood what was happening there. Four and a two. Call then. I'm gonna go all the way. I'll play your game. It mentioned something about like Please playing play cards turn. that were low earlier as well, but like I don't think it ever asked me to play cards, right? I can't decide. I'll have to sit this turn. Uh, I have How a pair of twos. This? That's something. Hey, you got me figured out. I don't understand why he randomly has a mask on sometimes. Things didn't pan out like I thought they would. Okay, I have a two, a three, I'm and a four, and an eight, right? Is that is a four or something? Is that no, something? Do I Straight series of five cards. A, two, three, four. So I need a five played. You can cover this, right? Fearless is my middle name. I mean, this is a lot to bet on getting a five, so probably a bad idea. But what to do? What to do? Wait, am I not getting another card to play with? Call. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I thought there was another card that comes out. River. This is nothing unusual. All right. How do I play this? Well, I think I only have a one pair, right? I guess I'm gonna play this all the way through to the end and see what happens. So do we tie or I think they might win because they have the higher number. Oh, okay. not what I, I have a I have a two pair. And they had a six pair. I'm gonna let a little bad luck stop me. Eight and nine. Don't rush me. Now it's your This is the way to play it. I think I prefer the clock game. Oh no. What a terrible hand. I'm in this oh, I guess he's end. bluffing as well. That's why I'm saying what a terrible I think I'll hand. Stick around. Oh, with these cards. I'll call. This is a Okay, win. eight, nine, ten. Does this work for There's you? There's already a nine in there. How do I play this? So there's the possibility of a couple more that. card slots, but I need it to be. I'm gonna go all the way. Jack. Oh well. Jack, queen, or. This is a winner. Nine, ten. Should be easy to match, right? Okay, I don't think I can do anything with this, right? Even this one to chance. They got a fold on the fold. Them. What is the picture in the corner? <laughs> like, <laughs> what a weird thing. Okay. Yeah, I think I was best to get out. Jeez, I don't know how you played this and do well. I'll take those coins. I'll try one more time. And then we'll go back to clock game for one more round, I think, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. A2. Okay. The thing I don't look at is, like, the actual, like, Spade, diamond, or whatever that droplet thing is. I guess I'll call for now. Hmm. Check. Oh uh, man, I don't really see anything in here that would make me. Eight 
Age comes patience. Let's check for now. It's not time to make my move. I know what to do. What's everyone else gonna do? I can't decide. At least I'm not doing worse than Carter. Let me think now. Sometimes the best strategy is to be at working out. More coins for me. All right, we'll go back to the clock. Game. I am not doing particularly well. I'm not saving my son at the moment. Although I think we should get a fortune coin just for playing. Yeah, fortune medal. Bunch of items from the main game hanging out of my inventory. <laughs> Doesn't it say how many of those I need to collect. Like I push my luck. Or how to collect them still even. Let's uh, actually let's go out and just like explore this area a little bit because like I don't remember this area very well. Maybe there's like some DLC specific stuff here, but I would assume probably not. I forget the context of coming here in the main game and like what's actually here and if there's even gambling here or not. I'm glad I didn't come into this expecting to beat it though, because clearly we have uh, not made <laughs> good progress. I do like the, the quick run though. This might be the whole area actually. You know, I seem to recall now that like you come in here and talk to like a couple NPCs or something, and that was kind of it. Check out the building with the slot machines. I'm very sorry, but these races are only open to chocobo people who have their own okay. chocobo to register. I think that's a part of the main game. There's like a chocobo thing in the main game though. But yeah, I think it's more of just like, hey, you can come out here, but there's like not anything actually out here. Oh! Card house here. Oh, it's the chocobo lady. I've missed you oh so much. You and your hairdo haven't changed a single bit. Uh, do I know you, miss? You haven't forgotten me, have you? Oh, I bet you're just trying to ruffle my feathers. Anywho, let moi tell you how we know each other. Ready for this? You know, I don't really think I have time for all of this right now. People know me as the Choco-amazing Chocolina. I'm the most chocorific time-traveling trader in the whole wide world. Have you really forgotten who I am? <laughs> well, you are at the intersection where events from the past lead into events from the future. To put it simply, I need your help and you can't say no. So what do you say, huh? Please. Huh, in that case, I like how about no? stand in here for some reason. What? You'll help me out. Oh, you're so sweet. Like a big old rotten tomato. Yeah, you might want to get that palate checked out. Something horrible has happened. I've decided to call it a horribly unfortunate event. The case of the missing chocobo chicks. It's your duty to search the entire casino. Bring all those wayward little chickies. Uh, not that many places to search, I think, Chase though. Them, negotiate with them, soothe them, win them over, do whatever it takes. Bribe them if you have to. So you want me to find the chocobo chicks and return them to safety. Why do you take so long to get to the point? So, how do you want to respond? I like the of course, my princess. Or like weird like animation no, canceling they do with there with the really head scratch to. for some reason. I have a soft spot for kids in it. My son's busy, so I know how you feel. You're still as kind as I remember. Huh? Okie dokie do! Ready, set, search! Yeah, it's like, I can't think of there's only two areas I think so far. And I don't remember, like, exploring a larger casino in this game. I think maybe the first Final Fantasy XIII had, like, a larger casino area, if I recall correctly. But... Chocolina. Yeah, Chocolina. I think she's the Choco Rodeo song lady.
There's really not that many places to look, though. That took a. No, that's the bottom of the pipe thing. Let me let me double check with her real quick and see if she's like, hey, this is how you find them. Otherwise, it's just a tiny room and that's it. Unless it's like, hey, gamble to get chocobos. <laughs> I heard through the grapevine that a poor little chicky was wandering around the building where they hold the chocobo races. Okay. Save him. We're gonna do chocobo racing? I don't remember if chocobo racing was in the base game, what that chocobo racing is like. That's a tough one. Let me think. Oh, he's just hanging out over there. What's that? Could that be? Help! Oh, okay. The chick has decided to follow Saz to show off just how beautiful it is. Live trigger answer bonus. You receive 100 casino points. By the vain chocobo chick, Potty. Report to Chocolina and discover the chick. <laughs> I'm guessing this is another way to get a... Was it a fortune token or whatever? Yeah, it's like such a weird quest because it's just like so little space here to actually explore, so. You found one! I knew you could do it! You can do anything you put your mind to! Okay, fortune medals for this too. Hey, do you want to hear some super duper top secret information? New hidden Choco Chick! Mayhem Chocobo Chick! Even if you don't think your efforts are making a difference, as long as you have a goal, a purpose, you need to keep trying. Try and make sure not to cause a racket, especially in public places. Like the Chocobo Chicks, they're running around the casino causing mayhem. Do something. Hey there. Everyone wants to be alone sometimes. Rumor has it that one of the chicks was seen in a secluded spot away from the crowd. Now what are you waiting for? Go look for the poor guy! You know, you can be a little intimidating. Why not have a chocobo chick follow you around? That'll surely lure out the others. Oh, can I like bring him with me? Hey there. No. Wanna... Okay, apparently not. What is this, like a bunch of sound equipment? <laughs> it's like a bunch of like VHS players and stereo system stuff. All right. There's a truck boat just flying over here. You are. I don't know if that was supposed to happen that way. That was weird. He just like ran over there. It seems he wants to hide away from the world. Um... Come with me, it's not all bad. Don't be scared now. The world's a fun place. Chick withdraws into its emotion shell. Not all bad. Chick withdraws into its emotional shell. The world's a fun place. Oh no. Really? I don't know why that would be a good answer. <laughs> I was like, why, that, why is that guy in the background just like floating? So he was on the uh, rotating thing, just standing there. How's he gonna get on my hair? Chicky. Okay. So is that the one that's causing havoc? <laughs> Assume we just need to try to intercept it at some point here. Okay. Come back here. 
the, the card tables, I think it said. Gosh, I like that he like doesn't have a running animation. He's just like sliding across the floor. Hey Joshua, how's it going? I don't know if it's like a rare, rare gem again. Oh no, where did it say he went? It's like DLC for 13 too. So. What's the ante? Oh, there he is. I think that's him. Are you looking to try out? Look at it. Talk to this chocobo. Leave me alone. I think he's supposed to go back outside. Okay, he's like stuck on the wall. <laughs> Goku get him attitude. Yeah. Yeah, I do think I want to better appreciate gambling games as a whole. Um, I feel like it's something that go. there's a lot of them, and like I don't expect the world out of them, right? But um, yeah, they exist for a reason. Oh, I can talk to him again? Okay. Gotcha. Alright, Choco Party back. Back home to your Choco Mommy. Oh. Doesn't look like there's many spots more than for the three. I don't know where else you would really go, so. You are not only chocorific, but aprorific. This is the least I can do. More fortune medals. Play card tables for a while and try visiting her later. Okay. All right. Well, I like the caught gambling game. I'm not a huge fan of poker, but I also don't feel like I know what's going on with poker very well to, like, read. Um... Read exactly. Oh, they just continue to follow you. Okay, um, to, like read. You know what? What a good hand is, and like what is a good opportunity. At least with the like clock game, I can kind of better understand like you know what my opportunities are. And I the think must have taken a to me. for the most part, the clock game. It is what it is. I think I understand the rules too. We'll play one more clock game before we leave uh, here. But yeah, um, so I think we'll play more Chocobo uh, Tales next week, probably. Um, we'll see if I combine anything else with it, or if we just do a full Chocobo Tales stream. But I think like two hours for Chocobo Tales seems to be enough to get a crystal. So I think it seems reasonable to like, play something else for like, another hour. Um, maybe I'll try, try going through the what basic guide or whatever it is to see if that gives me more insight on exactly how this works, too. So. All right. Starting at four. We have a double ten. I'm gonna start with a low card, I think. So. The first turn, I feel like it doesn't really matter that much. You can kind of do whatever. I mean, it's nice to charge. Um, although I guess you get ways to like play to the slot that you want to play to at the very least. So I can loop this back around. But 10 doesn't really get me much of anything. I'm just going to dump another card because I don't think anyone will pluck out this turn. These things happen. Okay, we're going to charge. Yeah, okay, so we... I can probably... I think I'm just gonna close out on the devil and we'll leave it on the, the devil. I've seen this happen. No, we got a tie. Oh god. Um. Charge the The next player. I can do three though. I can't. Oh, I can do a double on the um top zone. Cool. Okay. 
I think, was this still give me a charge? Oh, nice. I got a charge as well. All right. This is fun. I think I will spend more time with this. And play a bit more of it. But I am playing a lot of games right now, so I'm not sure if I'll get to it right now. But I also feel like it's something like I would probably should just go ahead and get through now while I like do have something else on in the background kind of thing. So while I wrap up watching AGDQ or something. So. Anyways. But yeah, we'll play some more Chocobo Tales next week, and then maybe, um, I know it's about like Resident Evil 6 Mercenaries mode or whatever, maybe touching on that, but we'll see. Um, unless you guys want to see more gambling, I'm going to guess probably I'll keep this to myself. Yeah, we're making the big big money. Um, Saz is smiling and his teeth are glowing right now because we're making the big money. Um, so, so yeah, um, but we'll, uh, we'll keep on that. So I'll, I'll think if there's something else we want to do. Worst case scenario, we can just play through more uh, tales and just get more progress in there. So. But yeah, I mean, I like the clock mini game. I think it's like a fun or clock gambling game. I think it's like a fun thing, and I do like I do appreciate the story significance of the gambling DLC. I guess that's that's kind of neat. I guess. So, um. Anyways, uh, PCFX stuff is still in the works. I'm working on that in my, my free time at the moment. Um, so you should see that stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks here. And then, uh, and then I have the panel in February that I gotta set up and do. Then, working on the Babylon video at some point. But, uh, their podcast highlights are still going up on the main channel, or the, uh, plus channel. If you wanna check those out, and also really just I'm trying to do some, like, old videos from podcast highlights as well, so if you are, like, listening to the podcast actively, it's not always just things you just heard not too long ago. I'm trying to pull stuff up from, like, two, three, four years ago, uh, as long as it seems regional. Like, the Sonic Riders thing was, like, I think 2018 or something like that, so it's been a while. Alrighty. Well, you guys have a great night. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out. Listen to your story time with Choke with Tales. I was thinking about like maybe I could uh maybe I'll edit together like all the the Choke with Tales books at the end or something like that. <laughs> With this long one long big thing of me reading children's books basically. So <laughs> so yeah, but I, I probably won't. That's, that's, that sounds like effort and and, and I'm trying not to do anything. Too. Oh, that's like dumb enough that maybe it's worth doing. I don't know. It doesn't matter if that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, um, no movie night this weekend, I don't believe, so um, we will uh, see you guys on stream next week. Bye!